hello guys welcome to deep tech so today we are here to discuss about oled technology this is the content overview of today's topic so let's come to the introduction part so oled stands for organic light emitting diode here we call it organic because there are two or three layers made of from organic material like carbon and hydrogen this is the emerging technologies in devices nowadays main principle behind oled technology is electroluminescence means uh, electroluminescence in other way uh, we can say it as electro phosphorescence means here the 100% of excitation energy is converted into light energy but if you consider the traditional oled or traditional sorry traditional led here only 25 percent of excitation energy is converted into light energy and this principle is known as fluorescent emission now the next point is it offers brighter thinner high contrast flexible display so about this we will discuss we will clear in further what is OLED? So this is nothing but a solid state device and its thickness is about 100 to 500 nanometer. We can say it is uh, in if we want to uh, judge it practically we can say it is 200 times thinner than a hair. It emits light with the application of electricity of course hence it is a electronic device so it starts to conduct and uh, starts to emit the light after feeding of electricity they doesn't require any backlight support that is their self emitting but in case of LCD it require a backlight support so this is the most uh, prominent advantage of OLED over LCD technology they are made up from carbon and hydrogen as I uh, just said this is the history part so the first OLED device was developed by Eastman Kodak in 1987 and it was green in color so this is the so I think I don't need to explain this thing you guys can read it and can uh, understand it easily so just uh, I'm skipping this come to the feature part so the first feature is flexibility hence it is much more thinner so of course it is flexible we can give it a shape as our uh, as we need it, uh, emissive technology means as I as we discussed before that whenever we feed supply to, the, to it it works it starts to emit the light means it works on the principle of electroluminescence and means it is emissive emissive technology lightweight and thin hence it is thin it is lightweight low power consumption means it has a, it converts 100 percent of excitation energy into light energy so it has more efficient it is much more efficient and less power consuming high contrast brighter and perfect display from all angles or we can say the uh, its viewing angle is almost 180 degree or precisely we can say it is 170 degree now move to structure of OLED here the here this figure showing a structure of OLED this figure contains con, uh, this figure contains five layers the top one is the cathode then the second one is the emissive layer third one is the conductive layer fourth one is the anode and the la bottom layer is substrate this substrate is nothing but a supporting layer a supporting base for all above layers now move to the color generation technology means from from here we can get a overall idea that how does a OLED generate different colors so there are mainly four technologies for generating different color so first one is we can use individual pixels for different color like red green and blue second one is white emitter and color filter third one is blue emitter and color converters fourth one is stacked OLED and this figure showing the all four technologies oh, what we have just discussed from this figure we can get a brief idea now move to 
working principle so uh, we can get a easy idea of working how does a OLED works from this figure that here the top figure the figure one showing that after fading supply the electrons from cathode close to the emissive layer and the, elect and the electrons from conductive layer close to the anode in the second figure after electrons flows from conductive layer to emiss uh, anode there is holes remain in the conductive layer in the third figure the holes needs to recombine with electron so in the third figure the hole jumps to the emissive layer and recombine with electron and due to recombination energy release from there and the releasing energy is in the form of light energy and this is the operation this is the OLED operation that uh, uh, how does it operates uh, what we have discussed before uh, just before that we first supply to cathode and anode and this is this substrate is for supporting this uh, all, all these layers and this is cathode and this is anode and uh, when we first supply we first positive negative supply to the cathode and positive supply to the anode and here the here the lumo and homo stands for lumo stands for lower unoccupied molecular orbit and homo stands for higher occupied molecular orbit so when we first supply here the electrons starts to flow from cathode to emissive layer and from conductive layer to anode and hence the electrons flows from conductive layer to anode here holes are remains and these holes try to recombine with electrons at the emissive layer and jumps to the em emissive layer and get recombined get recombined with the electrons and hence energy release in the form of light now these are the types of OLED so there are mainly six types of OLED among this uh, the first one is passive matrix OLED this OLED is used for portable devices then the active matrix OLED here the OLED is fabricated on a active device that is we can say thiel film transistor and then the third one is transparent OLED uh, here the transparent uh, as its name showing that the uh, all layers in this OLED is transparent top emitting OLED here the this OLED the substrate used in this type of OLED is it may be opaque or reflective type the flexible OLED means here the substrate we are using it it is much more flexible means we can uh, give it uh, uh, give it such a shape as our as our needed then white OLED means this emits white light and it is the most efficient OLED among all these and this OLED can used for domestic lighting also then move to OLED advantages these are the advantages of OLED this is thinner lighter and more flexible do not require backlight like LCD can be made to large size large field of view about 170 degree faster response time brighter high resolution and this is the disadvantages of OLED it is expensive hence it is the existing technology and it is exploring technology so it is obviously it is expensive there is a lifespan issue in this technology uh, it is water damage means whenever it comes to contact with water it gets damaged color balance issue means here the different color uh, of OLED has a different lifespan so there is a color balance issue in for OLED displays applications nowadays OLEDs are used in TV, uh, for TV display for uh, for laptop for cell phone etc now this is the conclusion and if you like my video so you can uh, hit the like button and you please subscribe my channel so that you can get the coming updates thank you